気なよグリードアイランドは Can somebody please explain to me what the hell is going on right now? Like, what is this? Did they just get transferred into the freaking monitor? Into, like, this was a real world situation happening and they got transferred into the freaking website? Like, bruh, Nen is too freaking much, bro. It is too much. It, this has got to be the dopest magic system I've ever seen in any anime, bro. Like, bro, the, the, the things that you can do with Nen is absolutely ridiculous. It's so creative. It's so, it's so advanced. It's like freaking discovering freaking nanotechnology. It's just, it's, it's just, you could do anything with it. Oh my God. It's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's <laughs>
Thank you guys if you stayed <laughs> if you stay through this intro you will know what the update is as some of you guys don't pay attention don't watch my videos don't see my updates and whatever all this other stuff but let's jump into this man I'm hype let's go go watch the reaction then meet me back here for the review all right if you're new link down in the description man okay and also if you guys want to contact me if you want to know what's going on with me at all times i usually give you guys live updates on the discord server so make sure you click that link in the description join the discord server and you will stay up to date on my day to day okay as much as i can so let's go watch the reaction i will meet you guys back back here for the review thank you very much see you guys All right, so here we go with the review, episodes 40 through 44. Oh my God, that was an amazing, amazing ride, man. Um, I think I paused. I think this is the first time I've ever paused Hunter Hunter so much because of all these Nen abilities is just, it's just crazy, man. It's just crazy, but I like, um, but let's talk about the story aspect of it. We got Kurapika and Gun trying to figure out. They met up back with Leorio, which is pretty cool. Cool to know him, but he ain't know <laughs> he ain't know nothing about Nen. All he knows about is is um the one of the basic things about about Nen, you know. So so far, <gasps> so mm. The story aspect is developing really nice. This is definitely Kurapika's arc, as as you know, as you guys can see. Um, this is definitely an arc about him. It's not about Killua and Gun. They're just like, in in these circumstances, they're like the side characters. They're because their story, um, they're trying to get enough money so they can get this this Greed Island game, right? So. I'm glad that they structured it in such a way where they make what's happening with Kurapika the focus right now. As in him really chasing down these these Phantom Troop members, which we got a glimpse of who these people are. I mean, from the minute they, they showed up um, and what they did to those Mafia members, I mean, seriously, man, with the gun in the, the machine gun in the fingers, and then this guy is, like, sitting there, this guy is, like, standing there, the guy that, um, that creates the, the, um, the, the Nen Ninjas, you know what I'm saying, um, he's just sitting there, like, oh, these bullets are of Nen, I'm like, dude, what do you think, you saw the dude with his fingers, I mean, unless he couldn't see them, like how we're getting a close up of it, but he's like, "Oh, he's, these are not are these Nen bullets?" I'm like, "Bro, come on!" They thought they tore through them, and then he got shot in the head, which surprisingly, and then they killed my girl, man. I was just warming up to my girl, my my kiss loving girl. You know what I'm saying? Like she got the kiss that can control people, instant lover, and all of this other stuff. Like I, I was just like literally saying like I like her character, I like her design. Like she's fine. You know what I'm saying? She real fine. You know what I'm saying? So, but they just they was like, we're not into that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just throw that to the side and be like, yo, we just gonna knock this character. I don't know if she's dead, but she definitely got knocked out. By the girl, the girl with the 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 lip vacuum, if you want to call it that. Um, her ability is pretty dope. Like she cleaned up that room, spotless. Um, and then we had a situation where they were reporting back to the boss and saying that um, it it seems like they hid the treasure, like there was no treasure in in, in the vault. It said a shadow. It looked like a shadow beast went in there and then he came out. It was full, and when he walked back out, the vault was empty. So, it's either he's able to shrink things with his Nen abilities, or he can completely make it like a mirage. You know what I'm saying? Like, not necessarily a mirage because a mirage, um, a mirage is like a duplication, a duplication of something that is real, but 
you know what I'm saying? It's like a figment of your imagination. That's what a mirage is. So it's not necessarily like because there was nothing there. So he basically just made the stuff invisible. So it's just nuts to see the amount of different things that you can do. And then as you can see, man, I was going nuts over just the stuff that is happening like the nano built the the creativity behind the stuff of different people like nobody has the same things you know what i'm saying nobody's developing the same thing everybody has something different everybody applies then differently even if they're of the same category so it just makes the abilities this it, it's just infinite the amount of stuff or the, the different things that you can create. You know what I'm saying? And as I said before, during the episode that I was watching, I stopped and I was talking. I was talking about uh, how I felt like the uh, how the author of this manga turned into anime. You know, what he was thinking about. And I, and, and I just, I feel like in that way, that's what he was thinking about when he, when he was creating this system. Is like, what if there was something? What if there were, that we had the ability to pull out natural potential that we're born with? Um, what if there was something that could do that? You know what I'm saying? And then we have a choice in creating, you know, based on based on um, based on what we belong to or what category we belong to. We can create these different abilities, whether you know what I'm saying. But, you know. In, in the same aspect of that, you know, anything that is created for good can always be manipulated and be bad. You get what I'm saying? Because you're not always going to have pure hearted people who's going to do things and create net abilities that's going to change the world. You're always going to have those people who's going to use their net ability to gain riches. It's, it's the superhero syndrome. You get what I'm saying? So it's like you have a superhero, you have to have a villain. Superheroes have abilities. You're going to have villains with super abilities. So it's what you choose to do with those abilities. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's, it's just so such an awesome system that this guy created, man, which is does there is there is limits to it, but it's not so limited where you know what I'm saying? It's not so limited to, to the point where you feel like you're helpless it's, you know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of people knock, when it comes down to Naruto, a lot of people say, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, he just does the one thing over and over again. But what y'all don't, what, what, how I took it when I was watching Naruto is like, listen, I've learned this from a very young age. And I don't know, maybe Naruto has an influence. I don't think so. Because I, I've had this stuff in my mind way before I started watching Naruto, where as in, as talented as you are, you may be a, a um, you may be able to sing, you may be able to dance, you may be able to, you know, really good at writing, you may be able to, um, be really good in music overall. You may be a prodigy, you may be, you may be able all these different things that we that that you know we might be capable of, you know, and. You might be talented in five different areas in life, but guess what? If you do not learn how to master one of them, you will always be all over the God, the place. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying to stop saying things like God damn and stuff like that. Um, so it's just, it's, it's just crazy to me. It's just crazy to me how he created how in Naruto, when people use, you know, some people will will say that, you know, I'm saying all he has is shadow clone jutsus. And you saw how he developed over time, finding out his affinity, which is wind. You know what I'm saying? And and then went with it. And then he started to implement the very thing that he has mastered before, which is the shadow clone jutsu into figuring out how to how to um enhance his abilities with the rasengan which with which um ultimately became the rasen shuriken which which ultimately became um everything else everything spurned from it you've seen him use the shadow clone ability 
implemented in everything else that he tried to master after that. You get what I'm saying? And that's what it's all about. Pick one, master it. And that's how I teach everybody that, you know, people, people that I talk to in groups, public speaking, whatever the situation is, I always tell them if you're multi-talented, pick a talent that you, that you really love or you prefer and master it. Cause if you try to do all of them at once, you're going to end up failing and failing and failing and failing. And it's going to be a re repetitive process until you die. And you're never going to see the riches. You're never going to see the things that you want to accomplish get accomplished because you're always going to be on this spinning wheel that you can't get off of. You know what I'm saying? You're just going to be running from yourself and saying, man, I can never get this done because you're not concentrating on anything. Your focus is all over the place. And that's what I love about men. It's one of the things that I love about this Nen is like people, they figure out what they're good at through the, the divinity um, process or whatever they want to call it, um, how they figure out what category they're in and they master that because they can master it 100% and then they can start working on the other stuff. Then they can start working on this. They can start working on that. Um, and you get what I'm saying? So I like that about it and people stick to what they know you know what i'm saying so it's it's so awesome to to know that uvo uvogen uvo they got things uvo right uvogen uh evogen or whatever they call him the 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 troop member like he knows he's an enhancer so he, he even mentioned it when he was in the car he was like i'm a master enhancer and he has trained his nan ability to keep even someone like me entrapped like this like that's nuts but how Kurt Pickett started to explain it at the end there is like listen man I put a condition on this so the stronger my resolve the stronger my resolve is the stronger my nan abilities which is come on man come on man I'm telling you man you guys have suggested some of the best animes I've ever come across and there's still more to come and I'm just I'm just head over heels to watch all of this stuff um as i said i'm trying to get a lot of this stuff out of the way you know what i'm saying i'm trying to get a lot of this stuff out of the way because um because i don't know when i'll be able to record again so after next week after after um the 30th i'm not sure what's going what's going to happen because as i told you guys before i'm moving so and I don't know when I'm trying to get internet set up over at a new place before um, I transfer over there. So I could just probably just spend the night and get my setup back up, um, set up, find, a, you know, have a desk and everything ready and and ready to go by the time I move over there. So I don't have to miss any time and miss out on content, putting up content. But I'm not 100 percent sure that's going to happen. So. At this point, as I said at the beginning of this video, for the, for next for next week, for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I'm gonna try to churn out as much reactions as possible for every single thing that I'm doing, okay? Cause I'm just gonna be home, okay? So I'm don't want no disturbance. I've packed up most of the stuff. Most stuff is already gone, already. So. It's just very minimal stuff that that is left here where I'm where I still uh, I, I am right now. Um, so let's get this situation <laughs> resolved so I don't have to miss any time. OK, so thank you guys for watching as always, man. These five episodes was dope. Um, hopefully the next the next one, will be, I'm going to try to do another five tomorrow so you guys can have 10 episodes in 10 days it's gonna be nuts if these episodes are ready tonight then i will definitely upload them but i'm i'm getting some other things ready to upload tonight too because we missed out on so much for the past like four days so i'm trying to get some something out because youtube don't like when you don't upload like the algorithm forgets about you sometimes <laughs> you know what i'm saying so definitely man you guys have shown tremendous support on i think it was the the last the anime community man you guys have really showed up for me 
for the last video i did not expect that last attack on titan video to get so many views like my attack on titan videos usually get somewhere around three to four hundred views but this one like i for it not being such a hype episode you know what i'm saying like it wasn't a hype episode it was just about the history you know what I'm saying? And, you know, finding out some, some new things about the world and, and all of this other stuff, like where um, certain people came from. I don't want to talk about the lore on it's a Hunter Hunter video, but you guys really showed up. And I, I'm going to thank you guys on every video that I do for anime until our next Attack on Titan um, thing, reaction, whatever. Thank you guys for watching. As always, it's your boy, Terror by Reaction. Remember, you are Terror Squad. And I already said my stuff. Peace. <laughs> I'm out.